Number 7, 20 of Lusaka's Kamala South are living in fear after they discovered a suspected shrine in one of the houses in the area. Vera Mutinta says the residents woke up to a rude shock on Saturday when they found a dead white goat and chicken dumped on the roadside in the area. Ms. Mutinta explained that a trail was later followed leading to the house, which they later discovered had features of a shrine. Patricia Mapiki has followed up the story and now reports. A relatively modern and quiet suburb, disturbed by the discovery of a suspected shrine at a somewhat innocent house in the area. An inside look in the house reveals suspected charms hanging on the wall, weird drawings and an assortment of charms in various plastic bags thrown all over the floor. Those that visited the house before the ZNBC News crew claim an undisclosed amount of money was discovered in the room together with various pictures with needle pricks. <laughs> But in drama in Zeko. It's when they are wedding photos, because my photos, the Abakashana, Abakashana, but Kulibet, Nazi Vakutin, one neighborhood. The residents' suspicions came alive on Saturday when a dead goat and a chicken was discovered dumped on the road. Somebody discovered a dead goat and a chicken and went to report to the police. That's how the police came and uh, opened the house and found quite a number of suspicious items. I shot Aikala's neighbors, Tatuas Chitika, from the way to go. Area councillor Minda Simata has confirmed receiving the report from the residents. So I'm going to follow up the matter with police, with high command, just to ensure to say that this matter gets uh, the attention it deserves. Police spokesperson Ray Hamonga says the matter is under investigation. The owner of this place has not been identified by the residents, although they claim he has been living here for the past one year. But on the wall is a red cloth, bottles in a red, black and a white piece of cloth. What is certain though is that there's a lot happening here that one might associate yet with witchcraft. Patricia Mapiki for ZNBC News in Lusaka.